you go, bud. Have a seat there on the left. Okay. There you go. I'm going to sit across the table from you right there. I'm good. You sure you don't want any water? Coffee? Anything? Uh, just water. You want some more water? Okay. Yeah. Are you LDS? I'm not. I'm not. Do you know LDS manager? I, I know the Latter-day Saints. That's what it stands for. Am I, I correct? You're, you're helping getting me there, aren't you? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I, think I apologize are. for not knowing oh, it's okay. more about that. Are you married? I am not. Do you have a mom, though? I do. And you know her well? I do. That's what I'm trying to help everyone find. Is there... Mom. Mm -hmm. okay. And the ones they love. That's noble. How come you're not married? And how are you my age? Oh, uh, how old are you? I haven't met What's your name? Either. What's your name? I don't even know your name. Richard. Richard, I'm Troy. Troy. I'm going with Troy. Alright. I'm just about 40. How old are you? Have I met you before? I don't think so. Where'd you grow up? Did you grow up in town? Salt Lake. Salt Lake? City. Yeah. I grew up in Denver. And you? Yeah. I like Denver. I like it. Been here my whole life. <laughs> Only been to uh, Utah one time, Moab. It's beautiful. It is. I went there once too. Yeah. yeah it's gorgeous. So I want to sit down, obviously, and uh, talk about everything. I don't know if you've ever been through anything like this before. Um, I can't imagine what you're going through. Like this? Well, it's not so much an interrogation like the movies. You know, right. it's not uh, not like it used to be. It's you and I talking mm -hmm. and figuring this out and figuring out what happened. Mm -hmm. I want your side of the story, um, but I'm going to read you your rights. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever? That is the, I'm sure you've seen that on TV, mm -hmm. all that stuff they talk about. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone over your rights before? Anybody ever talked to you about your rights before? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, all right, all right. Well, it's something that you and I are gonna go over, and I wanna be 100% certain that you understand mm -hmm. everything in it, okay? It's just you and me talking here. If uh, well, you, well, yeah, there's a camera. There's a camera. Everything I do is recorded. Well, everything in life so far. So. <laughs> Anymore, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I want you, I want you to be a hundred percent certain. So if you don't understand something that I'm talking about, let me know so we can clarify it, okay? Okay. I know this is just a ton to be going through. Mm -hmm. All right. I know everything's moving a mile a minute. Mm -hmm. And physical things are hurting. You're hurting right now? No, oh, yeah. Are you? No. Are you okay? I don't know. I think so, but. Do you want me to. Uh, a little numb to tell, you know. A little, we were talking about that. A little that. shock of everything right. that happened and uh, what transpired. Was like, that's. I understand. Some understand. things that put a toll on the physical body that's almost 50 and not in super great shape. Yeah. All right, well, let's go through. Let's go through this stuff here. We'll get down all your information. We'll get all mine down here. Um, this is mostly for the benefit of the tape to go back on it, okay? So today's date is April 14th. Okay. 2014, it's now about 10 after 11. I'm Detective Troy Bisgard. Like I said, you can call me Troy. We're located in interview room 2A at Denver Police Headquarters. Person being interviewed is Mr. Richard. What's your last name, buddy? Kirk. Kirk? How do I spell it? K-I-R-K? Yeah. Okay. What's your date of birth, Richard? May 15, 1966. 1966. What's your home address? 2112 South St. Paul. Okay, 2112 South St. Paul. Do you have a phone number at home there? Mm -hmm. How about a cell phone? What's the best way that I can get a hold of you? Well, I don't have any of that with me now. Yeah, it's my, my brother. Your brother? Yeah. What's your brother's? They, they stripped everything from me, so. Well, okay, okay. But you have a cell phone? Or you had a cell phone that the police officers have right now? I don't know if they have it or if it's at my house. I don't okay, know. we'll figure all that out. What's, what's the phone number for that phone? Are you supposed to ask me all these questions? or? You don't have to answer it. You don't have to answer anything you don't want. I mean, I don't know why that's you're... That's cool. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I just wanted to know the best way that I... If I had to call you... No, I just what wanted to talk I call my... Um, my brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that something you mind talking with me about? See what we can't get figured out? I don't know. I feel real tired. I understand. I understand. This is a lot to go through. I can't imagine. I don't know what happened. And I'd like to get your side of the story. And the truth is all I care about. Sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go through uh, we'll go through your rights. How'd that be? To make sure that you understand. You have rights for me. I. You have rights. And you're just letting me know what they are. We'll go over it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, is this just normal procedure? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is everybody I talk to. I have to make sure that they understand that they don't have to talk to me, like with the phone. You didn't want to give me your phone number? That's totally fine. It's the same throughout the whole time that you and I talk. Mm -hmm. Feel uncomfortable about telling me something? You don't have to tell me. You don't have to talk to me, period. But I trust you. Well, I don't know you. You don't know me either, right? 
Right. But I'd like to get to know you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get to trust you. Okay. I think this is our opportunity. Okay. But it's your decision. All right. Okay, I'll make that decision to do that. Okay. Let's go. Let's go over it. All right. Let me get get past this part uh, right here. There's nobody else in the room with us. And I started that camera there. All right, Richard. Here's the here's the rights I want to talk to you about. Okay. We all have these as Americans? Yes, sir. Every one of us. Okay. So the first one is you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you in court. You have a right to talk to a lawyer before questioning and have him present during questioning. If you can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you without cost to you before questioning. Do you understand each of these rights that I've read to you? I was kind of spaced out. <laughs> you want to go over them? We'll go over them again. Yes, please. All right. All right, you have a right to remain silent. Okay. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you in court. You have a right to talk to a lawyer before questioning and have him present during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you without cost to you before questioning. Do you understand each of those rights that I just read to you? And then down down here, there's a second part of this. And that it's now that first part was was do you understand everything that I read to mm -hmm. you? Second part is knowing you know, I've heard rights. these on TV. Exactly. It's just, this I've is never the one, gone right? through it and gone, yes, <laughs> never I listened to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's reality. Oh, what is right. that? What did that mean? I'm going to just sign my house away. <laughs> I don't want to do that. This is, this is what you see on TV. Exactly. Well, I'm not going to fall for it. I mean, I'll sign well, I can something. Tell, I can tell you, I'll this isn't a trick. Stuff. I will not step on your rights, but no, I I'm just not. will not. You know, this is... This is what we are afforded uh, as Americans in, in this country. Every uh, you and me. We voted, and and we have the right to bear arms. We do. Yes. I know we do. What basically what this is is that. Do Do you know where you are right now? Not exactly. It's a little blue office, and seemed like I saw people scurry and kind of run away. Honestly. I have no idea where I am right now. All right. I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm in the police station. You are. Or, yeah. Okay. You're at, uh, you're at Denver Police Headquarters. I didn't realize where anyone was taking me or anything. I know. I know. It's it's uh, that's a lot to go through. Everything happens fast. And that's where I am? This is what a police station Do you know looks like? This is this is what an interview room looks like. You pay a lot of money. How come there's all this <laughs> Well, we use we use uh, well, I'm we use this guy. This. Camera, but you got a hole in the carpet here. My foot's about to go through some kind of metal apparatus. <laughs> yeah, right, it's not like it is on TV. This is Denver. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in bad shape. I get it, but, but it's not TV. because of me. It's because what y'all are. What's going on? I don't want you to feel uncomfortable, but I'm not trying to make you feel. You know, you watch those old movies and stuff well, like who that. Who is interested in the truth? You, you and me. You it's you only, and me right here. I, so far, nobody's been interested in the truth. Well, I'm a detective. That's what I do. Do you know what a detective does? Yeah, looks into things. Do you know why? Finds out why that happened. Why? What? Why anything? Who? The, the truth of it. The truth. That's it right there. You're like Columbo? No, I'm not like Columbo. Are you better than Columbo? <laughs> I'm not better than Columbo, no. I'm not, but that's <laughs> TV. Oh, this shit. is the real world. <laughs> this is the real world. We're in deep crap, then. So are you on my I side am, or not on my side? I'm on the side of the truth, but that's it. If you're going to tell me the truth, then I'm on your side. Wow, that's a big if these days. Goodness. Figuring out who's going to listen. I mean, even I... I, I don't tell the truth. You don't? No, I'm not well, always. Because well, I'm not I'm always, always honest. Well, I'm I don't think any of us are I'm always. I'm in a material world. I can't. I'm like, whoa, did I just, I can't just go around explaining everything. I would be in much more trouble than I am now if I just 
said what I thought every time I said it by my wife. Goodness. Well, I I'm jittery. I'm all worked up. You know. I understand. I've been through a lot. Right. I really have. This, That's has been, this is probably well, man, down there's a complete truth and absolute. And that's why I was called. How come we're the only two that know about it, though? Well, those officers know about it, you know. The, the, but I don't think they know the, what happened. Nobody truth. knows. No, no. You, you were there, right? Mm. I wasn't there with you. No, but then you came in together, didn't you? And they, no, they, just, they went the other way. They, they came down. They. Are you taking me on a journey? I don't know. I don't know. Man, you're a trip. I don't <laughs> even know you, but I feel like I've known you forever. I'm always do you believe, believe me that that's all I'm looking for is the truth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I do. He's your savior. Mm -hmm. He's mine too. My wife and kid children. Even that's even mine. My life. Right. Right. So that's I wanna, the truth. That, that's where I'm at. Okay. And I'm wondering if that's where you're at too. I don't know. We both. I'm following you. Well, I'm following you. So I guess it's us. Right? Where do we go? Well. Because we're in here now. Do you know? I don't know, but like I said. What do we talk about? You were, you were there. And I wasn't there. And so what I want from you is the truth. The truth. Who else can be in here with us? Uh, Don't we need two? No. I think we do. Two what? Uh, two detectives? Two people. Yeah, other than you and me and, and the camera. You you have... Right now I'm sitting here all alone in the whole, whole world and eternity universe. You, are you also? Mm -hmm. Are you... Am, am I scaring you? Is no. That, is that what you mean? No, you're not no. scaring me. Okay, good. Am I scaring you? No, no. I think you and I can figure this all out. You won't believe what I've been through. Have you been through the same? I don't know. I don't know. Richard, I want you to put me standing next to you when everything happened. You make me see what you saw. All right? You know how you do that? Mm -hmm. You explain in detail with the truth. And you and I will get to the bottom of this. Okay, but we need people also with us. Other brethren. We just need another party other than the camera, don't you think? Someone you love and someone I love? Who do you trust? I trust my family. I trust my my brother detectives, my sister detectives. I trust my friends. How about you? I have to trust everybody. Yeah. Mm hmm I do now. Oh, that's good. Never really thought about it before, even though I've gone through a lot. Thinking about it, not actually thinking about it. Mm hmm but thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm spending a whole lot more time being on the other side, probably the eternity on that side. Thinking about, thinking about it. We can do this. We can sort it all out. Are you confused? Oh yeah. But I've also asked the Lord to be with me. It's the only way I can make it there now. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's that? what I believe. On my way in, I asked the Lord the same thing. And who is your Lord? God. And? Jesus. And who else? We can do this, bud. Is it the Holy Ghost? 
Yeah. Let's go through this again. I want to make sure you understand this. Because I will not step on your rights, bud. I won't do it. Rights are one thing. We also have to have love and, and truth. Right. I'm just wondering what the, what the truth is right now. I don't know how to trust myself. You don't trust yourself? No, not right now. Do you feel like... You're new to me, Brandon. Right, I, I, seen, I understand. I've seen a lot of people. I'm like, yes, you're doing a very good job of talking to me and telling me, kind of taking me on a, a bit of an emotional and... Is this developed by core? <laughs> By what? The, the Common Core curriculum or something? This type of interrogation? I don't. I, I this just is feel, you and me talking. I this know. is not. But then you got a camera. Maybe there's four. I don't know. No. It's just kind of cool. I mean, just like that. That's does it. it. Does it spit? Does it? Can it shoot something at me? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's just looking, absolutely not. Who's on the other end of it? The recorder. That's it. And right now, at this particular it's you time, and you, I, can, you can guarantee me. That it's just a recording right now. Nobody's staring into the water, going, "What are they talking about right now?" I don't. I can't guarantee you. I don't Have know. I watched too many video games. Ever watched them beyond the <laughs> back or, or what? Well, Am I listen into it too far. The recording. What do you think that's for? That's to document everything that you and I talk about. Right. That's so that I can't tell anybody that you said something that you didn't say. Right. Right. It works both ways. You can't say that I came in here, beat you up, <laughs> you know. No, you didn't do that. It's a lot different than, than what you see in movies and stuff like that. So this is kind this of... This is you and me in. talk. No, is, you're not being booked in. You're not. This is I you and when me talking. when Miranda writes, that meant the person was under arrest. But you were just telling it's true. they were. Right, we're going over. Your, we're going over your rights because at this point right here, you are not free to leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know you're at you're at Denver Police Headquarters. It's hard for me not to talk, but oh man, what is this? Is it just water like I asked for? I Honey, promise you, it's just water. You want some more? Yes, please. I don't know, get you some. I gotta more. hydrate my body a little bit. I kind of been put to the arena. I believe it. I, mean, I believe it. Wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah, back and forth. There was a. Mm. Do you want to talk with me? Sure. All right. Let's go through this again. Let's go see someone from the church, though, while we do it. I can't. An attorney from the church. An attorney from the church? Yeah. Do you want to talk to an attorney from the church? Mm hmm. Okay. 